I think another issue for entrepreneurs is they fear by finding happiness or pursuing happiness, their business will die or they'll stop making money or because they won't care about it anymore. But what I've learned is that you can't really unwant something. So that want, that burning desire will still be there. You'll just be able to pursue it in a healthy way to where you're not burning yourself out physically or emotionally. And when you're actually spending the time on those tasks, you'll make better decisions and you'll execute faster and you'll actually achieve what you want uh, faster and in a healthier way. My name is Brian Rossley, and for the last eight years, I have owned several internet ventures, all focused on performance marketing. Before Why Not 3, my life from the outside seemed like a fulfilling life, but internally it was a very unbalanced life where I thought the direction I was heading in would lead me to happiness, but it didn't. It was very unbalanced, pushed in the direction uh, business and success and all that stuff and actually I found that part of my life was figured out the rest of my life was not and it created a massive void and imbalance but within wealth there was parts of it um, that were making me unhappy um, there were parts of my business that um, I wasn't happy with and were sort of um, draining me of my energy on a day-to-day -day basis and by working with why not three I was able to sort of isolate the problems within that business and why it wasn't really aligned with me as a person and then sort of make changes within that business so on a daily basis while I'm pursuing the wealth through my business I'm actually happier doing it which in turn has allowed me to create more wealth not just monetarily but uh, emotionally. When I learned my why, I was able to apply that to my business and make the necessary changes in my business to figure out what about that business is actually providing me with negative emotion, the people, the processes, the systems, the models. And I was able to slowly, not overnight, but over time, change the people that didn't align with, align with my why, the model that didn't align with my why, and the processes and the systems. So now the business, instead of me sort of being a slave to the business, the business now is modeled around uh, my personality and what makes me happy and what aligns with me as a, as a person. So in terms of relationship with females, that was a part of my life that was unbalanced. And I now have a wonderful girlfriend who uh, I adore and she adores me and we have a wonderful relationship and I'm excited to see where that goes. So um, my relationships are, are better than they've ever been. I definitely think um, Why Not Through was a major contribution to me getting the girlfriend that I have. Um, Why Not Three gave me a specific plan and a process to uh, find basically what my dream girl was. Um, and also allowed me to become the man <laughs> that that girl would want, <laughs> which is important as well. Are you less obsessed with business? All right. No, I think I had a habit, which most entrepreneurs do, of being very extreme and just focusing on one thing and going at it with all the energy they have and thinking that that one thing will bring them what they want in life. But I think the realization that I came to from Why Not Three is that will make, what will make me the happiest is having a balanced life. So I can't ignore that part of my life. I need to actually focus on that as well and have all the parts of my life in sync. And from doing different exercises, I started to realize through actual execution what was making me happier and what wasn't. It was very clear and it was very black and white, so to speak. And it sort of became undeniable what was making me happier and what wasn't. And health was probably the part of my life that needed the most health. help. I had um, some extremely nagging stomach issues and some back issues. The typical entrepreneur issues of 
um, not paying attention to your health and not paying attention to your body and basically um, being a, just a brain that's dragging a body around the planet <laughs> and swaying it around and banging it against the wall. Um, a lot of eating out, a lot of not eating the proper few foods, a lot of sitting at a desk and not stretching, all this stuff. The lifestyle of an entrepreneur that eventually takes its toll on the body. Always thought whatever was priority number one would just get the most results. But for me, making health a priority actually increased every other part of my life. And why didn't you just go to the doctor before? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I went, I couldn't tell you how many doctors and I can't tell you how much money I spent on every doctor possible to try to figure out the issues with my stomach specifically. Um, it took sort of an alternative approach to figure out what the issues were um, and someone that was more hands-on and more personalized to figure them out. And someone who wasn't doing everything by the book. Someone who sort of was looking at all the possible solutions to all the possible problems and just split testing and trying everything. And doctors, they have their place, but they didn't, they didn't work for me when it came to that. If I could do it all over again, <laughs> and it, I'd have a... Uh, we definitely have a lot more uh, more money for sure <laughs> of all the money I wasted on that um, sometimes the issues just sometimes they just aren't that simple where you just go to a doctor and he follows his checklist or she um, from the book sometimes sometimes it takes more sometimes it's a bit more complicated and you need sort of a, a ninja like character who's going to going to dissect you and figure it out. When it's not a simple prescription or it's not a simple thing, it's, I don't know, the big health institutions don't, aren't in touch with a lot of the integrative and alternative approaches and sometimes that's the approach um, that you need to fix your, to fix your problem. So for wealth, I realized that by actually making health a priority over wealth, would actually give me more wealth. I think with Why Not 3, you have to trust the process, especially if you're a young entrepreneur who hasn't gone through a lot. I'm pretty young, but I started pretty early, so I have a decent amount of years under my belt, because you have to have a certain amount of time in the game to realize that it's not going to make you happy. You have to sort of reach that other side of the rainbow where it sort of hits you and you, you understand that that's the reality of the situation. And your model of happiness, if you don't have happiness, is probably not a model that's going to work. So they have a model that works, and you need to trust the process, and hand the keys to the car to them, and let them drive the car for a little bit, and sit in the passenger side, and just see where you end up. What attracted me to Why Not 3 was its, was its different approach. I was actually, you know, trying on a mission to figure out how to be happier. But I also didn't want to become like a monk sitting in a cave by himself. So I was looking for a practical approach. I think you have to realize, I think there is sort of an epidemic among entrepreneurs where they think happiness isn't important or isn't possible because most entrepreneurs you meet actually aren't that happy. Um, and that's sort of why they're entrepreneurs, because they're trying to feel good, so they're chasing things all day. And entrepreneurs are usually chasing uh, money or success or something narcissistic. Um, but when you can actually make that shift and you can actually realize that happiness is achievable, you can take all the skills that you've learned from business and focus it towards happiness and you can actually achieve it and in my experience why not three is the best tool to help you execute that well i think i think if you're listening to something like this like you either are 
you either came across Why Not Three's advertisement or material in some sort of way, then you probably don't feel balanced and you have some level of unhappiness in your life. And from my experience, after going through the process and coming out the other side, I can never go back to the way I was living before. And I have a small amount of regret for all the years that I spent living that way because I just could have been happier, which in turn would make everyone around me happier and just, it makes my little world a better place. So I mean, if you're sitting there and you're waiting and you're hesitating, there's really no point because you want to be happy and it's a path to happiness. So you've got nothing to lose.